Hi, my name is Brian Young. I'm the founder and inventor of Pascal Tags. Pascal Tags is a company that's created a completely passive inventory tag that allows companies to know truly what is in their inventory and where it is located. What's really unique about inventory is every single company does it. And what's really impactful about this is we had to do vast customer discovery to better understand them. And what we did is over 500 customer interviews, and one of those interviews really stood out to us. From a local chemical manufacturer, we learned that they lose 6% of sales each year because of the current solutions. And that they allow simple, uh, simple human errors and inventory management issues to occur. If you equate this to the entire industry of U.S. manufacturers and uh, uh, chemical manufacturers, it's more than a $48 billion loss each year. To more effectively understand this, I decided to break down any inventory tag more effectively. So there's a transmitter, a tag, a detector, and a software interface. And so I realized that in the case of barcode and RFID, which are the industry standards, the issue is that they introduce a transmitter to the environment. And this causes major inefficiencies, inaccuracies, and exponentially increase the price. So what I realized is all around us are transmitters. From 4G, 5G to Wi-Fi, I can get rid of a transmitter and be able to effectively introduce those existing networks. And if I have a tag that's completely passive or it's antenna based, allows for effective detection at a cost effective rate, that's then picked up by detectors, allowing for, for the first time, being able to identify truly what is in your inventory and where it is located. And what's impactful about this, this allows us to have a major competitive advantage, focusing on what customers care about, from detection of objects, ease of use, and being 100% battery free, and most importantly, we're very cost effective, allowing us to have the four checks or to have the four requirements all customers have been looking for for over 50 plus years with a major intriguing uh, revenue structure in terms of a one time cost and a recurring cost. Our one time cost is our tags, and then our, our tags and our detectors, and our software interface is more of a uh, recurring cost. And this has been validated with several letters of intent. And all of our great traction is because of one thing Fiber Cross. Fiber Cross allowed us to do winning in February to get the $500 needed to do 500 customer interviews, led us to get into several accelerators, including the Vote Awards, get real customers with 15 pilot program signups, including a manufacturing, including a corporate partnership with GE Appliances, and then pushing forward, we've been able to establish our first VC funding from Dortmund Fund, which is a Silicon Valley-based VC firm, and then we have a patent partnership with the University of Louisville, this $500 we received went a long way with us. and allowed us to get over $50,000 non diluted to this point that we've had. And our most recent traction, and what I'm very proud of, is I was named one of the top collegiate innovators in the entire U.S. I'm the first person from the state of Kentucky to be acknowledged by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and I actually presented there. And the picture behind me is actually my banner that was hanging at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. And this allows us to have uh, a great set for our roadmap. And our roadmap consists of Next six months, we're going to start our pilot programs, and then we're going to go full time, my co founder and I. And then, roughly in a year, we're going to finalize our initial patent, look into others, and then we're going to, uh, we've already applied for NSF SBIR. And then, roughly uh, in year two, we're going to do our go to market strategy, focusing primarily on licensing agreements. And then, year three, more advanced RD, and then start the next step in the supply chain. What really pushes us is myself and Haley. Mark's our experience and expertise in mine and engineering and hers in business operation that allows us to have what is really needed from a cut from a uh, disruptive technology to create something that's never been done before. We may be young, but we're very passionate about the problem we face nearly every single day in the home application. We even though we're young, we have a great set of advisors. With Dr. Thad Dreffel with over 25 years experience in R&D and product development. We have Robert Manister who's raised over $100 million for startups. And then our most recent addition is Dr. Gary Shaw. With his expertise in several patents, including over 120, and the former CTO and inventor of early 3D projectors, film, and, overall, and, and their overall technology. And pushing this forward, what gets them excited and what pushes us every day is our vision. It's cradle to grave in that from the beginning of our product, we're able to put this on the manufacturing stage with only one inventory tag and track it all the way through manufacturing into the retailer, then from the retailer all the way into the or all the way into the home, allowing each of these stage and every supply chain to be able to effectively know truly what is in their inventory and where it is located, creating a product level interaction that's never been achieved until Pascal tags. And this is where we ask you to invest in us by picking us to win the five across finals. Winning the five across finals will allow us to start a pilot program sooner, innovate Kentucky faster, and disrupt an industry that hasn't changed over 50 plus years. Thank you again. My name is Brandon Young. Pesco Tags, a smart way to work.
Alright, so at a buck a tag, you can't put your tags on extremely, extremely cheap products. Give me an idea of where you're going and what the range is for dollar value of the product that you'd be tagged, tagging. So initially, um, our initial pilot programs have validated roughly, I would say, probably 10 to $20. And then we want to be able to have a product that would be able to extend all the way from very cheap, like, tip, like simple toys to be able to track. But I see a lot more value in being able to effectively do this with high value items. So you're more um, something you can actually license or something you can actually get insurance for. Can you, you mentioned something in your partners that you have. Did you say something about GM? G uh, GE Appliances. Can you explain that partnership or, or and also sure. while you're addressing that, some of the pilot programs you've actually worked for and did they realize any very measurable gains from using your product? So we haven't started pilot programs yet. Um, in terms of GE Appliances, we have a simple brand and partnership or agreement where they mentor us directly to be able to scale within roughly a year to be able to give it to them. So the only contingent part of that is that we're not allowed to talk to any competitors of GE Appliances. What is the biggest obstacle you face thus far getting this into bringing the concept into market and moving the company forward? Um, I, I, I guess I'll answer from technology and you can answer from business. So from a technology standpoint, I know it's been um, very revolutionary what I'm trying to do and making it like a very cost effective, like tuning to Wi-Fi, those 4G, those 5Gs. And when we've been able to do that, that's kind of opened up the eyes for, I would say, more of the business that we talked to for our pilot programs. As far as the business aspect goes, probably one of our main milestones was really finding that perfect target market to start our pilot programs in. Since almost every industry has some sort of inventory, it was important for us to find an industry that would not only help us, but also an industry that had the largest pain points that we could solve. So that's why we're focusing on manufacturing to start. Who is your next full-time employee? What role would they serve? I would say they'd probably be more of uh, Probably more, I would say probably COO or operations. I want someone that has 30 years experience in manufacturing. So when I would discuss with a lot of these partners, I agree, we've already gotten great core partners like GE, but be able to talk to those Amazons, the other major players in the game, you need someone with great expertise that knows before we even start a problem how to effectively solve them. Who is your biggest competition? Like an actual company? that is someone who does something similar to you that, that would be potentially your biggest threat or who might try to copy what you're doing? I would say Zebra. They make uh, printers for, R for RFID and barcode. And we, and they really should be a potential exit. That's a big thing. Oh,